This is the homework for lesson eight, and it's module seven of grade three. Please get your name on first. Draw a line to divide the square below into two equal triangles. So that's just a corner to corner. Use a straight edge. And now draw a line to divide the triangle below into two equal smaller triangles. Now this triangle looks symmetrical if you go right down the middle from there. And it's going to help if you have sort of a target so you don't have a crooked looking line. And you have to guess what's about the halfway point, point of the base. That looks like it's right about in the middle. And so now I have, I can use my straight edge and line up the vertex here with that corner there with that halfway mark. And that's about as good as I'm going to get it. And now we're looking at a uh, trapezoid below. We want to make it into two, two equal trapezoids. Now, if you go like this, uh, that's not going to work because the top part, you have two equal, you have two trapezoids, but they're not going to be equal. So, because the, the one on top is going to be shorter than the one on the bottom. So, this is going to work similar to the triangle we just had. I like to think often think of a, a trapezoid as a triangle with the top cut off, right? Because this, if you extend these lines here, this is what I'm talking about, you have almost the same triangle that you had in the problem above. So, that's the same kind of line of symmetry that we're going to have. It's a little bit harder to draw since we don't have the vertex to look at. Well, we can, that one I just sketched. So the top half, what I'm going to do is, you don't need to draw that. But the top half, I'm going to guess about, that's about the middle there. And for the bottom, uh, the bottom, I'm going to guess about there. And then just connect those two with a straight edge. And... That's as good as I'm going to get it. Those are two equal trapezoids. Now I'll draw two lines to divide the quadrilateral below into four equal triangles. So this is just connecting the corners. Please use a straight edge. This is all about getting it to look right, and that, that's what you need to have. That's what you have to use it to get it to look right. So there's four equal triangles. And now four lines to divide the square below into eight equal triangles. So it'll take two lines. To make four triangles, and then we'll have to figure out half of this side and half of that side. It's right about the middle, and that should go through the center of the X we just made. And then we'll do the same thing going vertically. That's about the middle and that looks like it's about the middle and those should go through the X that we made with the first two lines. There. Now all those triangles are equal. That's eight equal triangles. And if you think about it, if you don't believe that they're equal, they, you, they really have to be if you look at it. Because what we've also done is made this square into four squares that look like that, right? And then and now each triangle is half of one of those, is an equal half of 
four equal squares. So they, they really all have to be equal to each other. And now describe the steps you took to divide the square in problem five into eight equal triangles. So we just have to find a way to say what I did. And probably you'd be able to find a, a better way to say it than I do. I drew two lines connecting the corners uh, then I drew a horizontal line to I should say equal, divide it in half, right? Divide the square in half. Finally, I drew a vertical line through of the square. Lots of different ways you can say that. You probably find a way to say it that's even better than the way I did. Uh, so use your own words and uh, you probably won't have to write so much. You might find a way to say it with, uh, with fewer words. But all you have to do really is just describe I, first I did this, first I next I did that, and then so on until you just those are the lines you drew. You just have to find a way to describe them.